guys, RB the Garden Nanny. I am getting ready to go outside. It is like 50 some degrees. It's February the 1st. Um, I wanted to clean my birds house, not a feeder, but their house. There are no birds in it at this time. And so I thought it would be a great time to get out there. It's a warm day and take care of this so that when they get ready to do all that they need to do, it will be nice and clean and they, and I won't have to worry about it later on in the season. So I thought I would bring you along and show you what I do. I must say that I thoroughly enjoy watching the birds. I was given this box from one of my clients. Uh, she just, you know, we talked about bird watching and she had an extra box laying around and I did not realize how much I would enjoy watching the birds where I have this uh, situated in my garden. It is just a wonderful thing to watch. And um, this is a really easy process. Like I say, I'm just uh, cleaning it out with this brush. I already took out the big nest. There was already a big nest in here. And so I removed that first. Then I went on and got my uh, brush. And now I'm just doing all the, you know, the little fine tuning of cleaning. So um, I did see someone before they sprayed some type of um, soap, soap water solution in there. I did not think that was necessary. I don't know, but um, I'm really giving it a good thorough brushing. And uh, I plan on, now that I've enjoyed this one so much, I plan on purchasing a few more over the summer. I've been looking at some on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to be definitely getting some more just to enjoy watching the birds. You know my favorite. You know, my favorite bird watching is the hummingbirds. But um, like I said, I've really enjoyed these. I think this is a bluebird box, but I'm not totally certain. If you know, please leave it in the description box below. But yeah, this is a wonderful thing to have. I'm just showing a up close look at what I've done. And um, yeah, if you have not try at a birdhouse. Maybe you might want to give it a try. I always have to come out here and just put in some new scraps from the kitchen. And I love this environmental tumbler. And this one I purchased from Aldi's a long time ago. And I really like these two containers. I love the fact that uh, they sit on these little roller things on the bottom. And, well, the first one does, the environmental one does. It sits on its own little roller. And it also catches um, the juices, I guess, the compost tea, they call it. Uh, it collects underneath, and I can take that and just take it to areas of my garden. It's pretty cool. This thing is really, really heavy. I had to really struggle with using just one hand, but I love it. It's been in my garden for a long, long time, and it does the job. It makes pretty good compost. So this is just a look at what's in there and in this one I just put some water in here and I'm gonna give it a twirl it's kind of fun <laughs> but yeah I like this these tumblers and I also have another one that is not uh, something you can twirl but I use it anyway it's over by my silver lace vine you've probably seen it but uh, yeah I enjoy using these composters. 
So now the birdhouse is ready for my feathered friends and it just feels good to have one less thing to do.